Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the topic of the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Amendment Bill Year 2024. So, this specifically talks about the water, its prevention and control of pollution. So, it means that it will majorly be focusing on the topic of water pollution. What are the measures that can be taken to prevent water pollution and how the water pollution can be controlled. So, the, it talks about news, what are the new provisions in the bill, what are the concerns with regard to the bill and in the end a prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from GS paper 2 that is government policies and government policies. So, you from exam perspective you should be able to know the new provisions and concerns and specifically from the mains perspective. So, let us begin the news talks about Lok Sabha passes Water Act to lessen imprisonment worries of industry over water pollution. So, we will be going into the detail, but this talks about the Water Act. So, the Water Act, specifically the Water Amendment Pollution and Prevention Bill for the year 2024, it has been passed in the Rajya Sabha and now recently it has been passed in the Lok Sabha. So, passed both in Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha and is waiting for the government assent. And this Water Amendment Pollution and Prevention Bill, as the name itself suggests, that it majorly focuses on the topic of water pollution and how the water pollution can be prevented. And there are new measures and provisions that has been added on to it to increase the ease of doing business also. So, this makes important changes to the Water Pollution and Prevention Act 1974. So, the already in place Water Pollution and Prevention Act 1974, the Water Amendment Pollution and Prevention Bill 2024 will may has made changes to this. It means it will be replacing this. And the amended version of the act would currently apply to the states of Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan and the Union Territories. It means that it will not apply to the, to the whole country or pan India. It will apply to specific places as of now. And the original act that is the Water Pollution and Prevention Act of 1974 is applicable in 12 states. While the new bill talks about applicability or in Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan and the Union Territories. Like for example, Delhi, Ladakh, Kashmir, Chandigarh, etc. So, let us talk about few of the provisions of the new bill. So, the new amended act or the new amended bill, it removes imprisonment. It removes imprisonment as a punishment and prescribes a penalty between 10,000 rupees to 15 lakh rupees. Now, this is the point which has made headlines and that is new amended act it removes imprisonment for minor offences. It means that till now for minor offences, whatever punishment has been prescribed, the new bill is removing that imprisonment. And the penalty in the amended bill is from 10,000 to 15 lakh. So, and if a person fails to pay the penalty, then the jail term of up to 3 years. It is saying up to 3 years. It means the maximum jail term is 3 years. Or a fine up to twice the amount of penalty imposed. Like for example, the penalty range is from 10,000 to 15 lakh. So, if the person fails to pay the penalty, first of all, a jail term of up to 3 years and then the fine of twice the amount of penalty imposed. Like for example, if the penalty imposed is of 10,000 rupees, then the fine for failure to pay penalty would be double of it. It means 20,000 penalty will be imposed on the person. And it removes provisions for imprisonment for minor offences. And in the earlier act for minor offences, for minor offences, imprisonment was there, but now in the new bill, the imprisonment for the minor offences has been removed and this is one of the highlights of the bill. And it is geared to the spirit of ease of doing business as the dual control of central government and the state government has been lessened and it has been lessened 
and has been brought to a lower level while the control of central government has increased in the bill so the ease of doing business it says that it will enhance the spirit of ease of doing business as the hurdles would be less then it is an ex it is an it exempts certain categories of industrial plants from statutory restrictions now one of the highlights of this bill is that it will exempt certain categories of industrial plants from statutory restrictions it means that the industrial plants will be free to do few of the things and it will also be free from the statutory restrictions certain category the categories have not been defined but it the term certain categories have been used then the central government will prescribe the manner of nomination of the chairpersons of the state pollution control board so to select the cha chairperson of the state pollution control board the power will be in the power will be in the hands of the central government and the central government to issue guidelines on the matters relating to the grant refusal or cancellation of consent by any state board so any state board with regard to its grant that whatever grant they will be receiving or any kind of refusal or cancellation then for this also the central government will issue guidelines it means that the overall control will be in the hands of the central government and the control with the state government would be lessened so this is also one of the drawbacks also with this new provisions of the bill now let's talk about few of the concerns over the amended bill so the amendments weakened the laws that protected rivers and water bodies from industrial pollution as the as the industries certain categories of industries will be getting will be getting a will be get, getting a handout with regard to the restrictions imposed on them so it is said that this industrial pollution will increase and the danger over river and other water bodies will enhance or it will increase then no longer any deterrent to violating environmental laws because the imprisonment provision with regard to the minor offences has been removed in the amended bill so it means that if the minor offences would be committed by anyone no no nothing can be done with regard to it it means minor offences will increase in terms of numbers so the role of state government now in safeguarding the environment weakens as the more power is in the hand of the central government and the overall control will also be in the hands of the central government and central government will look into the matters of the state government also so it is also against the principle of federalism as it has been said that if the role of central government will increase and the role of state government will decrease then this will go against the federal nature or the federal principle now that was it in the end prelims mcq any people need to tell me the answer in the comment section central pollution control board that is cb cpcb is a statutory organization which was constituted in 1974 under the air prevention and control of pollution act water prevention and control of pollution act or soil prevention and control of pollution act or none of the above so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications